Okay, just a quick little thing. Uh, make sure you watch at the very end of this video to see why and how this happened. Rest in peace, brother. All right, with all the ammo shortages and stuff going on today, it's, it's hard to find ammo. So what we're gonna be talking about today is reusable bullets, reusable ammo. I'm not talking about reloading shells. I'm talking about using the same bullet more than once. I use this one. I used this in a previous video. It's not really, I guess, a, a bullet you buy. But So a, after you use your bullet in a self-defense scenario, you're going to ask the police officer nicely if you can ret retrieve your bullet. If there's no police officer present, then you take your pocket knife, dig out your bullet. Look at that. Perfectly good still. Ter perfectly good still to shoot. So you dig some more out of here. Yeah, come on, come on out of there. Oh yeah, there she goes, look, look. People, people just throw this away, so you just cram your knife in there. Oh yeah, there we go, look at that. Perfectly good pumpkin ball, almost perfectly good. So we're, we're gonna shoot that one again. Uh, let me take the camera off here. I'll show you what we got going on, excuse me. So yeah, make sure, I'll probably upload this one separate, different, or after this one. This is going to be the world's fastest 50 BMG bullet. Let me just, I'll show you what's going on here. Let me pause it. Yeah, all right, focus, focus. Okay, yeah, there it is. It's, it's going to be the world's fastest 50 BMG, or it's going to explode like crazy. One of the two. There you go. I think it said dirty all the time. Uh, so, yeah, make sure you uh, watch out for that video because hopefully it works and doesn't uh, explode. Yeah, we got a funnel, we got some gunpowder, we got some BBs, we got the 50 BMG bullet, which I'm gonna, I'll make that work, don't you worry. Got some nails, I got some winter tire studs. So, I'm gonna show you how you can still keep on shooting. No, I'm just gonna run through these pretty quick. Uh, where are we at? Okay, sorry, there we are. So this is the one I used before. I'm gonna put her in here. I actually had to work on the extractor on this thing it was uh fell out okay this is the bolt <laughs> safety <laughs> Gee, that thing kicks bad hey extractor work okay next up we're gonna use some nails let me see if i can uh get all these in there Get in there, guys. <laughs> there we go. Do not do this at home. It's my official statement. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, you can use anything if you need be. Okay. Make sure you save for the 50 BMG thing here. This looks cool. These are just a couple pumpkin balls I pulled out of it. It's kind of loosely fitting in there. Okay, check this out, guys. This thing looks amazing. Look at that. 50 BMG. It's at 700 grains, something like that. Uh, this thing actually might kick. I don't know. Here we go. 50 BMG. 12 gauge. <laughs> okay. Let me switch sides here. This thing's gonna wrap. Ooh, I think it went through, but it didn't kick that bad. Tractor's still working. Let me pull you guys off here. Yeah, right, so I couldn't find that BMG bullet. It might have shanked off the side, but I mean, uh, you can see all these nails, shotgun wad. I, I, real talk, like being honest, if you really needed to defend yourself, that's why I do like shotguns, because you can literally shoot anything you want to out of them. Well, you're not supposed to, but worst, like, worst comes to worse. What's that, bud? Tell, tell the fans that we found a yellow <laughs> caterpillar. We found a yellow caterpillar. I'm trying to convince them to shoot it out of the shotgun. You should. It has to be in here somewhere. Uh, the there's that bulb. I think that's a different one now. But you could uh, reuse them now. That's what's awesome. And they would still do the job. I'm gonna look around for that BMG bullet some more. And we got something awesome set up. This 
I keep saying this all the time. It might be the final day for a single barrel, but today might be the day. So let's see. This may be the end of the old single barrel here. You shall see. <laughs> okay, is that so cool? So you just take a whole bunch of powder, whoop, right down the barrel. <laughs> take a bunch of babies. Oh Jesus. Okay, this is the setup here. <laughs> got that board on there, got a car battery behind it, got a nice long string. Maybe it's not long, maybe I'll put the other one on there too. I don't know. So I'm going to put it in slow motion. Let's see what happens. Holy cow, dude, <laughs> it is gone, oh man, oh, rest in peace, oh, that's so sad. It's still funny at the same time though. It's hilarious, dude, that thing blew up, man, let's see, like where'd the barrel even go, like the barrel's just completely gone. <laughs> so that's why you do not do stuff like that. Yeah, All right, so that's why you never, ever, 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 ever overload your shotgun shells. That was way too much gunpowder, way too many BBs. Uh, I figured this would happen. Not quite that extreme, though. I mean, that thing was loud. It was a kaboom. So. Yeah, I mean, this was all just in good fun. Uh, we, were, we were safely behind the truck, and we weren't in harm's way or nothing. So, don't ever do that. Do not ever do that. Except it, I mean, you can see how devastating it was. It took out the poor gun vice and everything. So, I mean, that being said, if anybody wants to ever donate any money, I mean, I could use another single barrel. <laughs> this poor guy. This was such, a, like, a trooper, too. He'd been through so much, but that gunpowder and BBs, it just couldn't handle it.